High Peak Performers 2022 is around the corner and I don't know about you but I'm pretty excited about starting a new year and as always every year I think all of us are setting new intentions and new resolutions because it's an exciting time to really restart and start again. In today's video I want to share with you 10 easy new year's resolution ideas of what you can do in order to start the year right and obviously not just start the year right but also continue with the good resolutions and with the good intentions over the course of the whole year. So in today's video I don't want to only share 10 ideas of things that I also want to do in 2022 but I also want to share obviously a couple of different things of how can you set intentions and resolutions that actually stick but before we jump into that let's start with the 10 ideas that I have for you today. The first thing that's always super important for me and hopefully for you as well is to move your body. I think it is super super important to exercise and to move your body no matter what that looks like for you. It doesn't matter if you love to go to the gym, if you just like to go outside to go for a simple walk or if you like to join any types of classes. It doesn't really matter as long as you're moving your body. I think as peak performers, let's be honest, we are oftentimes sitting a lot. We're sitting a lot in front of our computer, we're sitting at our desk and we're not moving our bodies enough. So in 2022 I want to encourage you to move your body on a more regular basis. So set a schedule, understand what you really enjoy doing, decide what you want to maybe try out and then stick to it. And at the beginning it's always really easy to just say I'm just going to work out five times a week and it's going to be great because if you have never worked out before and then you're trying to work out five times a week it's probably not going to happen and that's often when new year's resolutions fail. So if you want to set a good schedule you want to make sure that you're starting really really small with one simple thing. The second idea that I have for you is to eat less sugar. This is definitely a new year's resolution that I have always because I do love sugar and I do eat too much of it and so in 2021 I actually set the intention in January to eat less sugar to eat less ice cream because I really really love ice cream and it worked super super well for me up until I would say the last one or two months but I'm trying to enjoy it now because I know that going into January 2022 I'm definitely going to start again with a no sugar diet at least for a month and then see kind of how it evolves over the course of the next following months but I think we are all eating way too much sugar there's sugar in everything and so to be more mindful about our sugar intake is really really helpful I think one of the big things one of the big realizations that I've had over the course of this year was that I was really very addicted to sugar over the course of my lifetime I ate a lot of sugar growing up I always got a lot of sweets from my grandma and so I was really really used to eating sugar after lunch and after dinner as well and it was just a really bad habit that needed to be broken and I was finally able to break it this year and I do want to stick to it in 2022 as well and I hope that it will be an inspiration for you to at least try it out even if it's just for a month you don't have to do it obviously for the whole year but try it out and see how it makes you feel because sometimes just understanding these like positive benefits when we are starting to cut something out of our lives is sometimes enough to keep on going. So I hope that you will have that experience as well. Idea number three for a new year's resolution in 2022 is to limit your time on devices and social media. This is definitely a really big one for me. I feel like especially towards the end of the year, I'm spending way too much time scrolling through social media, through Instagram, through Facebook. Obviously it's part of my job as well, but I think there's still something to be said about limiting time on devices and social media and to really be more in the present moment and do more things for ourselves. I think oftentimes we say, oh, I don't have enough time to do this or to do that, right? To practice self-care or to invest in my mental health or to sit down and journal or to sit down and prioritize my life. 
But then we're sitting there for hours and we are spending time scrolling through social media, which is such a time waste. So in 2022, it could be a really great idea to be really, really mindful of how much time you're spending on social media. And obviously there's all these really great reports now on your devices that show you how much time you are actually spending on different platforms. And then to set an intention and the goal of how much time you actually want to spend on those devices going forward. I think for me, one of the important things will be to just check social media once or twice a day instead of constantly going on there when I'm feeling bored or when I have a moment in between things and to then also even limit it by time. So I did have a conversation, for example, with a client recently and she was talking about how much time she's spending on Instagram and that it's just way too much time for her because she has a family of two and she's married and she has a lot of things going on, but that, that was kind of her downtime. And in order to just be more mindful about spending healthy downtime, we talked about how she can limit that time on devices and, it, and she found it super helpful. Idea number four for New Year's resolutions is to read one book per month. Reading is so powerful. Every time I read, every time I take a book into my hand, I'm reminded that Oh, there's so many amazing ideas out there and people are expressing themselves in so many interesting ways to make things more understandable for us and give us new perspectives on different things. And so I have a ton of different books that I want to read. I have always a lot of books on Audible because I love to listen to books, but I always buy books as well. But let's be honest, I am not really good at really starting a book and then finishing it as well. So in 2022, I really want to read one book per month, challenge myself to actually get through the book and read it from end to end. And I think it's a really great idea to invest in in 2022. If you want to have some ideas about books, I think this is actually a really great idea for me to do a video about books. And uh, maybe I'm even going to do videos about the book that I'm reading every month to hold myself accountable. Let's do that. I think that's a great idea. So I will commit myself to reading a book a month and to actually record a video about the book and what I'm learning for you. Because I think this could be a really good accountability and commitment for me to actually stick to my goal. And this is another thing that you can think about when you are setting these kind of intentions for 2022, to think about what can I actually do in order to really stick to these things? Who can help me maybe to stick to these things? Sometimes it can be social media, right? Sometimes it can be friends or mentors or coaches or therapists or family members. There's really no limit to finding an accountability buddy or finding a really good rule for yourself to stick to things as long as you do it. Idea number five is going a little bit more into our work day. And I want to encourage you as a peak performer to build in more breaks into your work day. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make all the time is to not have enough breaks in the day. And then you exhaust yourself throughout the course of weeks and months, and maybe you are already exhausted and overwhelmed and stressed. And one of the biggest reasons really for people to be totally totally exhausted and overwhelmed is to not having enough breaks in the day. So you are overloading your body with stress hormones and it is super, super important actually to take a moment to relax, unwind, take a deep breath, close your eyes, take a break. And if we would all be a little bit better about incorporating those breaks on a regular basis, you would be so much more focused, concentrated and productive over the long run. So I encourage you to try it out because I think it is something that we haven't really learned. I think we have all learned to just push through and push our boundaries and make sure that we are getting everything done. I am totally guilty of that as well. And so incorporating more breaks and being more mindful of actually setting these breaks and keeping to them, staying to them, staying um, accountable to them is super, super important. So one of a good idea definitely for New Year's resolutions in 2022 is to have more regular breaks in your workday. Number six, I always talk about it, but it is super, super important. And again, I think it is something that we can all do more of in 2022, and it is practicing self-care daily. If there's one thing, again, that I see people make mistakes about all the time, 
it is to not take enough time for yourself and actually recharge your own batteries. We like to be there for other people. We like to please other people. We like to please our family members and our partners, and we like to please our peers and stakeholders and clients. And the first thing that we always cut out of our own schedule is our own self-care time. And then I talk to people and they tell me, well, I'm just going to take a break after this big project is done, or I'm going to take a vacation in six months from now. But this is not enough. It is so, so important that you understand that if you want to have sustainably energy over the course of a year, then you need to invest in yourself daily. Just as you charge your phone and your computer on a daily basis, you also have to recharge yourself on a daily basis. So New Year's resolution number six is to practice self-care daily. And if you want to have a few different ideas on how to practice self-care, how to get started, make sure to check out these videos here. New Year's resolution idea number seven is to start a gratitude journal. Gratitude is so, so powerful. I've been doing it now for over three years and it's completely changed my life. And I think it's really rewired my brain to see things more positively than negatively. And I am sitting down every single morning to write down at least three things that I feel grateful for. This is a super powerful practice and there are so many benefits to practicing gratitude because we're really shifting our mindset to always thinking in these negative patterns and always identifying things that are not going well into our lives to shifting our perspective to, hey, there's actually so many good things that are happening. And even if there is a challenging thing happening in my life, I can see this as an opportunity to grow and develop myself. If you want to learn more about gratitude, I just recorded a really, really powerful podcast episode with Dr. John Demartini about the science of gratitude, and I highly, highly recommend watching it. So make sure to check it out here. Idea number eight for a New Year's resolution is to forgive one person in 2022. If you have been watching my videos or if you are listening to my podcast, you know that forgiveness is something that's really close to my heart because it is a really powerful thing to do, to forgive people for what they've done to you. And there's a lot of misconceptions about forgiveness. Like for example, that other person did something really bad for us and we can't forgive the person because that person should actually come first and apologize. That's just one of the misconceptions that's out there about forgiveness. And so we are staying stuck in, in this waiting pattern or in this like maybe anger pattern, feeling heavy feelings about another person when really we need to just practice forgiveness on ourselves and on the other person in order to move forward with our own lives. So I really encourage you to forgive one person in 2022 and just let it go because it is all about your own forgiveness. It is not about forgiving that other person. It is really about making peace with whatever happened with yourself and heal from that yourself. Nobody else can do that for you. You can make this decision today to forgive and to move on and to be more empowered in your life. If you want to learn more about forgiveness, I have a video about the three biggest misconceptions about forgiveness. And I also have a video about a forgiveness meditation. So if you are interested in that, I highly encourage you to watch both of these videos to be more empowered and more healed in 2022. New Year's resolution idea number nine is to write down your top two to three priorities every single morning. This is something that I preach all the time. This is super important for me because I think that a lot of people, you can actually make a tremendous difference in your day-to-day -day at work if you're being more mindful of what kind of priorities you should actually have. Because if we don't have our priorities set, then we get really easily distracted and we are being more in this reactive mode instead of being really mindful and intentional about what we have to get done. So I encourage you as a New Year's resolution to be really, really specific about two to three things that you have to get done every single day at work in order to feel more accomplished at the end of the day. There are a ton of videos on my YouTube channel about 
time management, calendar management, setting boundaries, and all of these will really, really help you to be better about your time and about your well-being in 2022. So I encourage you to watch these videos as well. And finally, New Year's resolution idea number 10 is to communicate better in 2022. I think when we really think about it in life, everything comes down to communication, to communicating with people. If there's misunderstandings, it's because we haven't really talked about things that are important for us or we are not really clear on what we want. And so I encourage you to be better with communication. So if, for example, you are in a relationship, no matter if it's personal or professional, and there's a lot of things going on, you could challenge yourself and your partner to be more communicative in the future. So you could, for example, sit down once a week for an hour and just have maybe two or three prompts and each person is allowed to share for 30 minutes what's on their mind. And while that person is sharing, you just listen because communication is also listening, which is just as equally, if not more important than speaking. And, and then obviously you turn it around and it's your place and time to speak. But I think we can all get better about communicating our feelings and about what's on our minds. And when we are creating that space to actually be open to receiving and to giving as well, then we can really improve our communication skills and obviously with that our relationships. So that is my New Year's resolution idea number 10 for 2022. I hope that one or the other New Year's resolution idea is really resonating with you and that you are setting that intention to really go into 2022 and really crush it. So let's talk for the last minute or two about why it is sometimes super, super difficult to stick to New Year's resolutions. Well, first of all, we are oftentimes, um, as peak performers, I think very ambitious to do everything at the same time. So we are starting January 1st of the new year with 10 different New Year's resolution ideas and we think that we can just crush it. And that really sets you up for failure, let's be honest, because if you have been having all of these different habits for a really long time, it's going to be extremely difficult and it requires a lot of discipline to stick to 10 things at the same time. So I really encourage you to choose one thing per month and to really just try to implement that new habit for 30 days before you are adding something new to it. That will actually really help you to develop that skill before you're moving into the next thing. So once you've done that, then you can really focus on that first resolution for the first month and then you can add to it the next month. And the reason why I only gave you 10 New Year's resolution ideas and not 12 is that you have two months where you can actually restart. So sometimes, and that goes for me as well, we are setting intentions and goals, but then the month is just kind of flying by and we're finding ourselves at the end of the month without really having done anything, which is totally okay. And so that is the reason why I gave you 10 resolutions and not 12, because I want to make sure that I'm giving you space as well to experiment and to also maybe fail once or twice with the goals that you're setting for yourself. And then you can basically just move that one goal from let's say the month of January into the month of February and start again. This is really powerful. And it is one of the biggest things that I always remind myself of when I'm falling off the new intentions or goals that I have set for myself, that it doesn't matter that we're all human beings and that it is okay to fail because I think in failure, there are a lot of learnings as well. And we can just start again and see where it takes us. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. This was the last video of 2021. There will be a best of review video 2021 on my channel next week as well. But this is the last video where I have time with you. So this is the time for me to say thank you so, so much for your support over the last 12 months here on my YouTube channel. I'm always really excited to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your New Year's resolutions are. And I really hope to see you in the next year. Take care and see you really soon. Bye bye.